All right, guys, I'm warming up my brain for my SAT. Let's go. All right, guys, I have an awesome video for you today. I'm going to let you guys roast me because I am going to do section three of an SAT timed. I want you to watch how I do it. Comment below if I'm doing a good job, if I'm messing up, let me know but I'm gonna speak out loud in my thought process of how I'm doing the questions so you guys can see what, what I'm thinking when I'm doing these wacky questions. Now, also I wanna point out, this video is meant to show that the SAT is extremely beatable. I am not a genius. Yes, I did do well in the SAT when I was a kid, but with training and understanding, it's really easy, frankly, to score highly or higher than you did before if you could just understand the test and that's what today is all about. So let's do it. I'm gonna take the SAT. All right, ready? Let's go. All right, so A, B, C is 67. Those are equal, this is 67. So the other angle would be, let's see, that would be 134, so 46. Okay, system of equations, standard ticket, cost five. So the standard is five, you can get rid of that one, you can get rid of that one. They also say that there's 250 tickets in total, so it's gonna be a. Let's see, uh, what's the equivalent to that? So x squared plus seven minus two x squared minus six, so that would be negative x squared plus one. This formula, they want solve for radius, so s over 4 pi equals r squared, so it's going to be rev a. Very good. To the given expression, um, let's see, so we have 2x plus 3 minus x plus 7, so that's going to be x plus 10, c. Okay, which of the following linear functions? So if I just do the slope, I should have this. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, negative eight over six. So that would be negative four over three. So that's gonna be C. Angular volleyball court has an area of 162. The length is twice the width, so length equals two W. Area is length times width, so 2w times w equals 162. Um, 2w squared equals 162 divided by 2. w equals 81, w squared, excuse me, so w equals 9. Boom. Alrighty, uh, k, that thing, and p are shown. So slopes of the line from least greatest. So k is negative, so that's going to be least. And then the next one is P, and then L thing would be the greatest, so D. Cube has a surface area of 54, what is the volume? So surface area is the area, six times the area equals 54, five by six, area of one side is nine, so side equals three, the volume equals 27. Slope of zero, so slope of zero, y equals x equals would be like that okay good um o is center circle o a b it, o a b this is 30 these are radii that's 30 this is 120 so um arc a b is going to be one third times the circumference o c is 18 so circumference is 2 pi r so 36 pi times a third would be 12 pi the quadratic function h is defined as shown. Uh, this is annoying. Um, so we could just plug in, um, but we could also solve. So let's see, x squared minus 8x mi uh, plus 16 times 2 would be 2x squared minus 16x plus 32 minus 32. Those cancel out. 2x squared minus 16x, so factor out of 2x, x minus 8. So 8, I guess, uh, that, I, don't, I don't like that question. That one, if I was doing the real test, I would take more time and plug back in and check it. 
um, x squared minus 2x equals 35 minus 35 minus 35. So x squared minus um, 2x minus 35 is so be x minus 7 x plus 5 x equals 7 and 5. 7 and negative 5 product. So 7 times negative 5, negative 35. You'll be careful there. Two part time jobs, A and B. So I have a chart, $10 an hour. Working at job A, $20 an hour on job B in one week, every total S dollars. So the total, we want the total. What's a the, what's the possible total? So 16 hours of job A would have been $10 an hour, so that would have been 160, or eight hours of job B, so 160. Uh, what's fine could define F. So we have an asymptote at negative x of negative one. So x of negative one should result in undefined. So it's gonna be one of these two and then the other asymptote as it approaches positive one. So it's gonna be D. Square both sides, x plus five equals 36, x equals 31. All right, 31. Nine x plus 15 equals k x plus 15. What are the one here? Uh, k is a constant. Okay, so that's just going to be 9. Uh, another reject, solve for x. Okay, 20x minus 5 equals 4x plus 3. 20x minus 5, 4x plus 3. Add 5 minus 4x minus 4x. 16x equals 8x equals 0.5. This is going to be annoying because these don't match up. We want to solve for x, so I'm going to try to get rid of the y. So I'm going to multiply this by 3 and this by 5. So we're going to get negative 9x plus 15y equals 3 and 10x minus 15y equals 10. This works out nicely. When you add them together, you get x equals 13. Boom. Exponential function f is defined as f of t equals b to the t, where b is a constant greater than 1 if f of 8 equals 16 times f of 6. So I guess f of 2 equals 16. So b to 2 equals 16, because if you multiply those, that would make sense. It's b to some power, so b equals 4. All right, so I finished. Let's, uh, let's check my answers. All right, so no idea why I crumpled this. B a, correct, B, A, correct, C, C, A, correct, D, B, correct, uh, B, B, D, uh, D, B, okay, D, and uh, 31, nine, let's see, 0.5, 13, and four. All right, guys, so that's that's it. I, I just finished um, section three in seven minutes and, and 25 seconds. That wasn't a particularly hard section three, I would say. I mean, those fill-ins, like the first three were just a total joke, and then the last two, 19 was just time consuming and 20, that one, I think I probably, if I sat there and thought about it, I could come up with a better explanation, but that was kind of just a feel answer to be honest. But the beginning was very easy. And I think the hard questions, you had the asymptote. I think they thought, thought they were gonna get people on this, uh, this asymptote there. That wasn't that hard. 14 could have been confusing. I just thought about it simply. I mean, look, overall, this was pretty easy to be honest. And look, I'm no genius, as you can tell. I probably almost made a few mistakes, but I caught myself. And that's what the SAT is all about. Not a hard test, but if you understand it and you really grasp how to go about it and you see the patterns of the questions, you can dominate. Look, guys, if you like, this kind of content. If you want to see me do more questions, do more passages, stuff like that, comment below. Make sure to sub to the channel. I appreciate you guys. And look, if you like this video, like the video, man. Do what you got to do. Like the video, like the video, please. It helps me out. And once again, prep harder, prep smarter, and you will succeed. Let's go.